Let's talk about the health benefits of sun gazing. So today I'm going to teach you the truth about the sun and all of the health benefits that come from it. Since the government won't tell you the truth, don't worry, I will. But before we go any further, I have to give a disclaimer so they do not take this video down. This video was made strictly for entertainment purposes only. Nothing in this video should be considered factual. We simply point out patterns and things that we notice. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and say the whole damn video is scripted. Remember, for entertainment purposes. So basically, it's a movie TikTok. All right, now let's get into it. So I'm sure everybody has heard their whole lives from the government. Don't look at the sun, you'll ruin your eyes. You'll go blind. Don't look at the sun. Even during a solar eclipse, wear these super special sunglasses so you don't damage your retina. That's what they love to tell us, right? Because the government is so concerned with our safety and health, right? Yeah, okay. The truth is, if you look at the sun, it has a lot of health benefits. Like a lot. The ancient Egyptians knew this, and that's why they used to sun gaze. Egyptians would sun gaze for the last 30 minutes of the sunset, or the first 30 minutes of the sunrise every day, and it would increase their sight, plus all other sorts of beneficial things. Let's go over some benefits of sun gazing really quick. When you sun gaze for at least 10 to 15 minutes a day, you will have improved dream recall, which obviously that means that it will be easier for you to remember what your dreams were about, therefore making it easier for you to remember past lives. Therefore, when the end of your life this cycle comes around, you can ascend to heaven and not be reincarnated into an earth body because you haven't raised your vibrations enough to ascend to heaven. Sun gazing is an amazing way to raise your vibrations, like one of the best ways. 15 to 20 minutes of direct sunlight daily will boost testosterone levels in men. Sunlight is the most potent and natural source of vitamin D that you can get, period. Sun gazing boosts energy, it increases melatonin and serotonin, it helps fight fatigue, it increases the size of your pineal gland, and it also helps to decalcify the pineal gland, which is very helpful when trying to open your third eye. Sun gazing improves your quality of sleep, it helps seasonal affective disorder, better known as SAD, and it improves your endocrine health. Now, not only does the government tell you to not look directly at the sun, but they also tell you that if you're going to be out in the sun for an extended amount of time to make sure you put on sunscreen, therefore you will protect your skin from the harmful UV rays and lower your chances of getting skin cancer, right? Okay, but what if I were to tell you that's all wrong? Check this out. Sunscreen contains very toxic chemicals. Let me just list off three. Not promising I'm going to pronounce these medical terms right, but at first we have oxybenzone, which is a chemical commonly found in sunscreen that causes hormone disruption and toxifies your organ system. Another toxic chemical that is commonly found in sunscreen is octanoxate. I'm going to guess is how you say that. And this also causes a hormone disruption, but this chemical toxifies your reproductive system. And the last toxic chemical that is commonly found in sunscreen that's worth mentioning is homosalate, is again how I'm going to guess you say that. And this toxic chemical also causes a hormone disruption, well as causing an enhanced absorption of pesticides in your body. Yeah, you heard me right. The more sunscreen you put on, the more pesticides your body absorbs. Meanwhile, we're putting this on our children to protect them from the sun. It's disgusting. Now, you need to always keep in mind that your skin is the biggest organ on your body, and it absorbs everything you put on it. So please make sure that you are not putting carcinogenic chemicals onto your skin while using sunscreen or other beauty products. Lastly, did you know that wearing sunglasses that block the UV rays from hitting your retina, that is stopping your skin from producing chemicals that will protect your skin from the sun, causing you not to burn. That's why whenever people wear sunglasses, they burn really bad, because your body is extremely intelligent, and it naturally fights off diseases, and it also naturally fights off a sunburn. The government has it all wrong, and they are teaching it to us all wrong. We need to embrace the sun. Embrace the sun's energy. Embrace the earth's energy. Embrace the universe's energy. The sun will benefit you mentally, physically, and spiritually. I'm here to tell you. Now, obviously, I'm not telling you to go outside and look into the sun at 2, 3 in the afternoon when the sun is at its brightest and hottest point. The ancient Egyptians would sun gaze at either sunset or sunrise because it is amazing for your body and your spirit. For instance, if you're sick, sunlight is essential to your recovery. If you know, then you know I'm sharing some truth with you right now. Watch, check out what this lady has to say about the sun. I think the sun causes cancer. Well, Everybody actually, says stay out of the sun because it causes cancer. That's right. They did a study at Baylor University where they took two groups of experimental animals. They gave one the standard American diet, which is terrible. They gave the other one a highly nutritious diet. Then they exposed both groups of animals to the ultraviolet rays of the sun. In the group on the standard American diet, 25% got skin cancer. In the group on the highly nutritious diet, not one animal got skin cancer. It's the way we're eating. Skin cancer is a relatively new phenomenon in the last 60 years or so, and yet our ancestors for hundreds of years have been living outdoors, uh, working outdoors, and they didn't get skin cancer. Yeah, you heard her correctly. She said that skin cancer is a relatively new phenomenon that began within the past 60 years or so, and the science supports that it's the food that Americans eat that give them skin cancer, not the sun, even though that's what we've been taught our whole lives. Society's consciousness as a whole is shifting, and more and more people are waking up every day. The truth is out there, and we just want to help everyone find it. So please like, share, and repost this video because everyone needs to hear this message. Let us know your thoughts and opinions about sun gazing in the comments. We love to hear your input. And if you want more truth-seeking videos just like this to show up on your For You page, then make sure you follow and come join our truth-seeking community.